being an artist and making artwork gives my life a lot of meaning. It's like a, an addiction. I, can, I need to do it for me to feel like my life is making sense. I started off my career painting uh, when I left college. I really liked the actual physical process of putting paint onto a surface and seeing how uh, it transforms the way I look at a particular area where I'm, I'm painting onto. My work in the last 10 years has really been um, drawn from that um, impact of, of where I live and really have taken elements of my surroundings. I knew the house was um, an extraordinary house in terms of the patterning that exists on the floors and I have an interest in pattern but um, it just got amplified I suppose by living here for five or six years and then it gradually seeps into your subconscious and becomes part of your, uh, just becomes part of the way you work. More recent works uh, have looked at the idea of multiple um, individual elements that are um, put together to produce in a way something similar to a, an orchestra and that there are different notes which are different colours and how those different colours can um, join together and create um, something akin to a, a symphonic sort of sound. So, for example, the work that's behind me is uh, a number of um, s separate elements which are painted uh, quite spontaneously and without really knowing what the other work looks like prior to doing the next one. So it's like a book, you actually turn over the page and you don't know what's in the previous page after a certain period of time and you start again. So each one is a different beginning and then they have to negotiate with each other. So that's the, I guess that's the rationale behind this piece. When they're put together, the viewer is asked to sort of somehow um, piece it into some sense because that's the way the human mind works, is that the human mind looks for pattern within chaos and looks for meaning within our, our environment. I think about 90, 1998, I made a decision that I would choose a group of colours to work with to limit the number of choices that I made. Most of my colours tend to project, but I do have uh, a dark colour that recedes, and what I like colour to do is to create a sense of volume. You have a sensation of it being bigger or larger than it actually is by the brightness of the colour. They're just static forms but our mind seems to make them flip from one to the other. They're, that's quite a, a phenomenon I guess of human perception in that we play with space and we bring things forward but then if it's structured the right way it tends to flip back and forward and loop around on itself. So it inspires movement by being still which I think is another contradiction but it's a very interesting one. I mean there was the idea of repetition which is um, something that a lot of people view as being a bad thing, that we do the same things in life over and over again. We get up, we make breakfast, we eat, we go to work, we drive a car, we come home, we sleep. They're all in integral parts of how we live and my work does deal with repetition in that there's a rep repetition of colour, a repetition of shape. But I think there is a point also in repetition if you repeat the same thing five times or ten times it can be seen as boring. But if you repeat it 30 or 50 times and you stay with it, it suddenly becomes uh, more fascinating. And I think that's something that I'm quite interested in the idea of repetition being something we accept as part of our life.